I believe that people always think of themselves as being so smart and sharp just because of the sins they've committed. In spite of this, time and life tell them what they are wrong and destiny will break them badly in the end. One of the worst phases of love is cheating. We're about to get into the story, so make sure you hit the bell icon and subscribe to our channel for more stories like this. As I pour and pour alcohol again and again, I am unable to stop myself from pouring it again and again. As I am sitting here, I am feeling very stressed and I don't know what to do. It is safe to say that the name of my ex-wife was Luciana and she was 30 years old and I was 33 years old. I used to work as a manager at a bank. My first meeting with Luciana took place here. As a new intern, she was working as a cashier in this bank. Initially, she committed a few mistakes, such as counting with a huge margin, which led to a few mistakes. In addition to that, she had to pay for it out of her salary as well. If we are talking about the reputation of the bank, this is going to be a very important issue. I was about to fire her on this basis, but I was stopped by an incident that happened which prevented me from firing her. One day she came to me with tears in her eyes and asked me for help. She asked me about my help because her younger brother was an asthmatic patient and she needed a few advanced salary for her brother's treatment. Those tears made me very worried about her during the time I gave her salary. I realized that I should be there with her at that time. It was at that moment that I felt a sense of sympathy for the situation that she was in even though I was unaware that I had no such relationship with her at that time. In order to greet her brother, I went to the hospital. I also met her mother, who was a very old lady because I was there, if they needed anything. I told them to let me know as soon as possible. The way I behaved with Luciana changed on that day, and after that day, I can safely say that our casual conversation started as close friends. Meetings and dinners have become a regular part of our work culture after office hours. I was dating a girl at that time, but it wasn't a serious relationship. Luciana, on the other hand, was also a part of my life during that time. With the passage of time, I started having some feelings for Luciana in my heart. However, I was very confused about what was going on at the time. My intention was to avoid the whole situation, but in the end, what I found out was that I enjoyed being with Luciana and loved her company. All of my colleagues were gathered at my place for a party to celebrate the new year. The event was fantastic. I really enjoyed it. In the midst of all this, Luciana came to me and just sat on her knees and asked me if I would marry her. At that moment, it felt as if time had stopped for a moment. In a state of astonishment, I was shocked because I never thought that a girl would propose me, but the fact was I also had a girlfriend, so I could not have expected that kind of thing to happen to me. I found it a little difficult to understand what she was saying at that point in time. The people around me praised me for saying yes to her proposal. As a result of that complicated scenario, I decided to say yes regardless of the difficulties. As soon as she heard yes from me, she hugged me tightly. It wasn't until after the party ended that I spoke with her casually. I don't understand why she did not tell me about it before. I was told that it was a surprise for me from her. I was also asked by her to meet her mother and younger brother in the shortest possible time for marriage talk. Regardless, I told her that I needed some time before getting married, so she understood. I told her it was time for me to finish up a few affairs. I was asked by her what kind of affairs we had, but I told her that we should wait for a while and see. As a matter of fact, I was having another affair with a girl, and if I had a chance to choose one of them, I would choose Luciana to be the one. For that, I had to finish all the things that were left to be finished by the other girl. It has to be said that that was not an emotional relationship at all, but rather than a physical one. It was another story how I ended up my relationship with her. The long and the short of this is that 
After one month, there was a time when I told Luciana that I would like to meet her mother. My next step was to go to her house and meet her. I found her to be a very nice lady, and she appeared to be very happy about our relationship as well. Then after dating for two years and getting engaged in one month, we got married. I had a very good and exciting relationship with my wife. My relationship with her was very happy and I was very satisfied with her. The way she behaved in bed was so wild. I regret my past acts of having another affair in the past. It was as though I had been blinded by what I had been given by God. However, it was a matter of my past. Both Luciana and me went to work every day since we were both colleagues at the same time at the same bank. It was still Luciana's job as cashier at that time. In view of the fact that it was a private limited bank, I was surprised to hear one day that she got an offer from another bank offering her a very good salary package in exchange for her services. It would also be possible for her to become a manager in the not too distant future due to her experience and recommendation. In my question to her, I asked who had referred you. In her words, it was her old friend who had called her. As of now, I have not felt anything wrong with my relation. I agreed with her to join another bank in accordance with her wishes. In the beginning of the year, she started a new job. Eventually, there was a deterioration in the situation and problems started to appear. The change of her job was a progress for her. In spite of this, she began to act in an odd manner. As a result, she began walking in the morning and joining the gym as well. It is good habit, but in my opinion, it was strange because I was aware of her nature and she did not seem to be so concerned about her health, which I thought was strange. However, I was ignoring her and thinking that maybe she had set some goals in her life to become a better, fitter version of herself. In spite of this, the truth is that in the office, her attitude was normal. But one more thing has happened to her, which is she's always glued to her cell phone at all times. Those were all red flags that should have been taken seriously. The other day, she went for a morning walk and did not return home until 9 in the morning. Almost every time she came home, it was after one hour or around 7 in the morning, and it was strange. In spite of my attempts to reach her, she did not pick up my call when I called her. As soon as she arrived at 9 o'clock, in response to my question about where she was, she told me that she was with a friend that she has not seen for a long time and that they had breakfast together. It was so frustrating for me to not be able to reach you when I tried calling you. According to her, her phone's battery was dead, so she wasn't responding. There was no doubt in my mind that she was telling the truth. My attention was drawn to the room, so I went there. It was as she was changing her dress that I noticed a mark on her back. We were very open to each other and changed our clothes in front of each other without any hesitation whatsoever. I noticed a mark on her body as she was changing and noticed that she had just changed clothes. What does happen to mean to her? I asked her. She said, where? When I approached her, I told her that there was a mark on her back. I could see that it looked like there had been a bite on it. It was on her, but she could not see it. So I took a picture and showed it to her. The moment she saw her face turn pale, and she was unable to say anything because she did not know what to do. However, she just acted strangely and said she mistakenly sat on a bench where nails might be, so it caused her harm since she was sitting on it. She just changed the topic and said that she has to go to the office, so get ready since she has to be leaving soon. Leaving the room, she walked out. As I also had to reach the office, I got ready and left for my office. All day long, all I could think about was that mark. The picture was taken on by my cell phone, so during the tea break, I took a look at it and it appears that it has been bite by something. However, I think that my trust in her got weakened over time. As much as I could, I tried to be a pessimist. It was impossible for me to think of anything else. Then I thought that I should wait and keep an eye on her 
to see how she's doing. During the course of the day, there was another incident that happened. One day, she came to me and told me that she had been promoted and had become the manager of the bank. It was such a joy for me to hear about her promotion. As far as she was concerned, it was a progress. My evidence to her was to arrange a party to celebrate her coming birthday and to have the party after two days. There was a lot of fun in the party. As I recall, it was both of us that invited everyone to the party to have a good time. But after a few days, she said that she had to go for a night with her girlfriends on a party. There has been a long-term plan for this event for quite some time now. In response to my question, she said that it was her friend who had met her in the garden. Because of the fact that I gave her full relaxation in everything, I did not question her. In the beginning, I was unaware that relaxation would be what resurrected my life. I don't remember the exact time, but it was about half an hour before she was due to leave for the party on Friday night. As she walked strange lately to the room, she closed the door and locked it tightly behind her. Her door was never closed in such a way before this time. She had never done it before. It took her a few minutes to get out of the room after getting something from there. There was something strange when she left, then when I went into the room. In checking the cupboard, I did not see anything missing, but after checking it for a while, I found that her one fancy lingerie was missing from the cupboard. For me, it raised a sort of extreme red flag that I needed to pay attention to. I don't understand why she took the lingerie with her. There is no reason for me to understand why she took that dress with her. There were many hours that I thought that what she was doing. In that night, I called a few of her friends, but she wasn't there. When I called her mother, she said that she was with her and she was there with her. The fact that she was there made me feel satisfied, but still the idea of lingering in my mind remained. It wasn't long before she returned home the next day. When I asked her how her night had been, I also asked her why she had taken a lingerie with her on her journey. According to her, this was needed by her friend because she was going with her lover, so she borrowed it from her. In addition, I asked her why she was at her mother's house at the time. As she explained to me, her friend changed the plan so that she had to go to her mother's house at the time instead. In response, she gave a bit of a satisfied reply. As a result of her mother's confirmation, I feel a sense of relief regarding my doubts. In any case, after a few weeks, I decided to take a vacation with my friends so we could spend time together. I told her about my plan to our vacation, which was about two days long. At the end of the weekend on Friday morning, she always cleaned the entire house, changes the bed sheets, and all the other things that need to be done. The trip started on Saturday and I returned to my on Monday after my vacation. In the course of my trip, I called her many times, but she did not respond to me to any of my calls. Moreover, I received a call from my cousin who told me that she had seen Luciana with a black man on the street. In my statement, I said he was a friend of hers. However, he told me that I should be very careful about what I do. As far as I am concerned, that's fine with me. Afterwards, I went back to my house. All was normal except for the fact that the bed sheet had been changed, which means as she changed it on Friday again after two days. As I was going to put dirty clothes in the washer, I noticed that the bed sheet was also there. After picking up the sheet unintentionally, I noticed that there was a strange spot in the sheet. When I asked her about that, she got stunned when I showed her. The reason behind the change was that she said her brother came home from work and he was sitting on the bed eating ice cream and that that was the reason why there was pot of ice cream on the bed and that's why she changed it. The answer she gave was valid, but there was something else that was telling about her nervousness. Then I started keeping an eye on her after that. One night, when she was in washroom, I found her on cell phone on the chair and decided to check it. As I noticed her opening her cell phone a few times in the past few weeks, I was aware of the password. After opening it and checking it for a while, 
I found a chat that she had done with her mother, with whom she had shared each and everything. Due to her affair with someone who got her a job in that bank, as well as the fact that he is one of her closest friends, she became manager of that bank as well. It was said that she told her mother that he was so hot and that he had all kinds of other qualities. There was a question that her mother asked her about the infidelity between them. In response, she praised the way her affair partner pulled out games in response. There was no issue with this for her mother. There was a shock in my heart when I learned of this. Then suddenly I packed all her luggage and as soon as she walked into the room, I showed her own text chat with her mother and she was shocked by it. As soon as I told her to get out of my house, she started yelling about how it was an unintentional act and a bunch of other things I don't care about. I did not listen to her and kicked her out of the house at this time of the night. As my brain was about to explode, I had no idea what to do except to have a few drinks to try to get some relief from this pain. Luciana and her mother have tried many times to persuade me to forgive them, but I did not give a shit because I was just screwed up by her actions. It was impossible for me to resist any pain after all that I had gone through. There was a divorce filed against her by me. In a week, the divorce papers will be delivered to her.